Morning guys, Tuesday the 19th of January. I'm just reflecting on um, the ongoing sort of question I've been considering about where I'm putting my energy. And even where your thought processes go, yeah, where you allow your energy to go in your thought process as well. Um, so, I uh, I noticed that one of the places I put my energy was I actually um, saw somebody that I've, I've followed a little bit, I don't really know them, know them, but i followed some of their resources and they do a lot of creative things and they uh, just bought out a book on creativity and playfulness, so I quite fancied the idea of it. Um, and I think that connects to that you know, a bit more creative in, in how I approach things and what I do so that's an order so looking forward to getting that um, I, did, I, I did actually put energy into um, having a zoom call and exploring more about getting more, more, more advanced well, it's my accreditation, really, like, to be fair, from coaching and the number of clients that I've coached I've already got. It's just the case of going through a process to, you know, get the, the letters, so to speak, to get the credibility for something I've done already. So I did have the Zoom call and stuff. Interestingly, it is something I really want to do and I want to focus on. But at the same time, um, I have allowed the... Um, the materials for the course I'm delivering on, I'm um, doing with addiction, doing that online next week. So that sort of took over some of my time, and I'm probably giving, to be fair, more time than what I, what I need to, um, yeah, paid for, whatever. But um, I suppose the thing about that is that once I've, once I know I'm going to do something, I've committed to it. Um, I really then put a lot of time and effort into it because it's quite important to me that it reflects, um, yeah, you know, my energy I'm putting into it and get, you know, give the learners a really good experience. Um, to do that, I have to give that a lot of thinking process. And funnily enough, I mean, there was already um, some materials that had been developed previously for... Um, it was actually a drug and alcohol course. Um, and although some of it is, you know, a little bit appropriate, what I found is, because um, I've broadened it out to look at addictions in, you know, the biggest sense. Um, alcohol, drugs, just being one aspect. So really, um, I decided that I really wanted to expand and develop the resources more. So I spent quite a bit of time looking up, exploring, creating other stuff. But the interesting thing is, is I've found personally that when I do, um, if, if somebody says, oh, by the way, you know, here's some materials, um, you probably could use a lot of that, really, for a course. Like, I did the same when um, I looked at Totally Change. In the end, again, some of it was okay, but I think I, you know, really get the most out of being able to develop and expand my own thought processes so that I really know my stuff and I think you know that part of that planning and the research that goes into um, that the materials and the process is quite key um, so although it takes more time energy and effort to be fair I think the course itself will always end up being much more um, yeah more effective um, and you'll come across like you know you know your stuff a lot more that's what I feel so as I said I've put my time and energy there um, but I am mindful I really do want to look at the other avenue about looking at my other accreditation getting the, um, the, the PCC so I do need to give that um, some energy as well, some time this week. I 
do put my energy into doing my live after a few, quite a number of weeks now, Sunday night, and that really enjoyed it actually. That gave me energy. Um, yeah, it lifted me, and it also, I think, when you're you get feedback and comments from other people and you connect with them, um, I think that's really quite vital. Um, it's great to do lives to an extent, but I think you know one of the key pieces is being able to know that you are connecting um, and enabling others to think and reflect um, on what you're sharing as well. So I'm definitely going to continue to do well. Just do more of my lives. Yesterday I put energy into um, showing about blue, well, Blue Monday as they call it, but there was an article I found it interesting because it challenged, um, and well, challenged the concept a little bit of Blue Monday and I quite like that um, because you know I like to think I do consider and, and unpick things a little bit but actually we can all become a little bit quick at times at accepting things at face value because you know if it says it's you'd like to think I suppose most people think oh if it's on the news it's on the TV and they're reporting something you believe it's totally true um, you know, if you read something in, yeah, in the newspaper or magazine, you believe it's true, but actually, it's not necessarily the whole truth. I think that's the piece. It's a, it's a view or a number of views with some potential facts. Um, so, I think it is important to consider it from all angles, and that's why. I felt energised to share it, also because it linked to mental health, which is very important um, to me. Also had an online meeting yesterday. Um, some of the people um, to do with the courses delivered at the college um, but it, it got well, we, we came online then we realised quite quickly that for various reasons it had been cancelled so a few people um, then left the meeting because um, it was fair enough you know everyone's got stuff to do and busy um, and I, I nearly did actually and then I thought no I'll stay on for another 10 or 15 minutes and there was a couple of other people who stayed and, and actually I was glad I did in the end sort of just briefly connected and shared and I think you know the people were sharing some of their challenges currently at this time and some of the pressures and also some you know um, challenges and family members not being well and all that that brings so actually in the end I was glad that I'd stayed on this that little bit longer and that it sort of connected um, just a little bit with a few people that I probably haven't really had that much of a conversation with and connected with for a little while so that was that was good so yeah just maybe, sorry to tell you where my head went then <laughs> when I was sharing that was um, creativity <laughs> um, 
and connection. Yeah, I think um, where that sort of leaves me, actually, where it leaves me thinking, is that, oh, in the course, so course, um, connectivity, connection, um, and sort of creativity. So I think I'm going to think about that a little bit more. Um, you know, I've said to others about connecting with perhaps your values if you if you're not always feeling motivated or energized um, if you're struggling to put certain things into place perhaps consider um, to what extent they're aligned with your values and actually um, certainly creativity um, and connection are massively important to me and the course actually is also I mean I like the idea of you know the, all the C's <laughs> um, but I think really the for me, I know that the, the value underneath that is really all about learning. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to consider actually. What I'm doing through the weeks and um, how it connects to um, creativity, connection, and learning as well. So, guys, on that note, have a the rest of a tutti frutti, twerky, tweety, um, wonderful, tweet twoo, um, tasty Tuesday, and I shall speak to you later, guys. Take care, bye.